was principal at Jervoice Primary, an out of seven school, and at that school we had a, um, a focus on technology, in particular in the last six months of last year. And for me, that that grew from my own, you know, questions about the amount of money that sites generally invest in technology, and then are we using them in effective ways with students to kind of get, you know, value for money and student outcomes. So. The last six months at that site was a real IT focus and iPads were implemented and lots of staff PD and discussion time around technology in education. After sharing with staff and discussing it with the group, there was a decision made that the community as it is currently probably wasn't prepared or had a need for that, the access to Twitter. We did do an adaption and we have got a... Um, we did have a Jervoice Tweets section in our um, hard copy newsletter, and that was on the basis that, you know, we would share something in maths literacy and another area from each classroom in 140 words or less. So I was getting that concept of, um, you know, Twitter talk in it. But her Twitter journey also um, gave her another pathway in Pinterest and that was also discussed at her Twitter sharing PD and the staff then agreed that Pinterest would probably be an area to look at and try to develop. So the school does have a Pinterest page and they use that um, to collectively you know, gather resources or ideas and, and they pinboard them into areas under you know, Australian curriculum history or assessment, um, autism, and, um, and then people can easily share those resources that someone else has thought would be useful. My current role is Primary Australian Curriculum Facilitator in the Murray Bridge Cluster, and, uh, and I'm also looking at ways that I can use technology um, effectively to do my work across seven sites and across my um, region of the Murray Mallee as well. I've wanted to set up, well I have set up a Facebook group for us to network and share and for some of the people in similar roles they weren't actually Facebook users to start with for different reasons or some that were Facebook users were using Facebook really just to kind of stay in the loop with their own children who were Facebook users. Um, so that's, that's a new journey I think for lots of um, educators that are in the system is you know, being a user yourself and then stretching that so you're using it in your professional professional roles and to network and communicate effectively. And especially, uh, I'm from the Murray Mallee and there's often, you know, distances. So for me to drive to another school and it's going to take me half an hour or an hour and a half when I can just possibly set up a chat with, um, with a group that I've got and have that, you know, forum going back and forth and PDFs being shared you know, quickly and easily, you know, I think that it's it's a good use of the technology and time for, for us in our work, our blogging with students. And, uh, you know, there were those questions around, you know, the safety and privacy issues and access and things like that. So, you know, that's just a journey too of making sure that you know, I, I talked about the new social media policy that's on the DECT website and, you know, we can just refer to that as a reference point to know that we're not sort of stepping too far out of, you know, what's advocated and, and promoted from the system's point of view, but also what a better way to educate our students for the lives that they actually are already living than to really do some of that deep learning and it's not just the conversations around, oh, you know, if you use Facebook or you're Skyping someone, you know, think before you speak or think before you post, but you're actually giving them a really authentic um, project to be doing that in. And, you know, my example, even when we talked about, oh, you know, if something goes wrong, it's about then that happens in our classrooms all the time. You know, kids do stuff wrong in maths or kids do stuff wrong in the yard. And, you know, we use that as a teachable moment. And I don't see, you know, the use of social media as being any different. Um, when things go wrong, we use that as a teachable moment. And again, it's very deep and rich for students and their learning. But I've also been, I think, really mindful about then how we educate parents along with this journey as well, because it's certainly not the way parents 
would have learned while they were at school. Thank you.